everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? It's another fishing guide day today. Uh, turns out I like fishing lately. We are doing Dustlight Aether Sand, and these Aether Sands can be used for things like uh, infusions as well as a bunch of food. Uh, they're generally pretty expensive, and they generally keep their expense just because people will need these until uh, for every raid tier. I can imagine they're especially going to be expensive on uh, raiding servers, so keep that in mind as well. We are in... The exact same area as the sea pickles here, right about here in the Ruby Sea. We are using a normal gig head. We have our collector's glove on, and our goal is uh, false clads, I believe they're called. Also, my gear here, and please, 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 I beg you guys, don't focus on the gear. Um, I can do this with 70 no quality gear. I can do it with 70 high quality gear. I can probably do it with ironworks. Uh, I could probably do it with level 65 gear. It really doesn't matter, but I like showing uh, what you should get out of this with real gear. And a lot of people complain to me about that, but you know what? You guys really need to like buckle in and get some better gear. You can't expect to... Sorry for the rant, by the way. Uh, you can't expect to go through level 70 with your level 55 gear somehow. Like, it's just not going to work. You need, you need the gear. Um... This isn't even the best gear, like, the 70 high quality stuff is much better than this, uh, when you meld it. And also, like, if you can't afford it, then go farm stuff. Like, you have a level 70 gatherer, go spend an hour farming, like, cobalt ore, or effervescent water, or flax, or anything at the lower level stage, and you'll have enough to buy your gathering gear. Uh, especially if you have, like, a crafter you can ask, and just, like, shout in Kugain or something, somebody will do it for you. Uh, anyway, sorry for the rant. Let's get into the real real thing here. Um, I'm just going to do a couple here and show you guys how I do it. And then I'm going to fast forward it and go from there. And at the end, we'll take a tally of what I do in a 20 minute run. So let's start this off here and get going. The general idea is to veteran trade away any false or not false clad, any uh, nice first try. Veteran trade any regal silver sides away, and then you can only get like a 50-50 chance between false clad and a dragonfly. So we got a silver side, and since it's the first or the second attempt, I'm going to use a, uh, a veteran trade to get it away, and we'll get some more scabs here. You can also, not only do you get Dustlight Aether Sand, that's the other one you get here, Dragonfish. I don't think they're used for anything. Uh, not, not only can you get Dustlight Aether Sand, also that one's a trap. That one leads you to a different hole. Don't go to that one. Uh, you can also get Ice Crystals and Ice Clusters. And you'll also want to be spamming Cordials as well, although it doesn't take too many considering uh, Veteran Trade only takes 200. We'll do one more, then we'll fast forward to the rest here. We got a Silver Sade, so... And like I said, you don't need good gear for this. I honestly think you could uh, level up in here probably decently well. It's not going to be as fast as the other places I recommended, but you might as well get XP and farm this while you're leveling. Uh, if anybody tries that out, let me know how it works. I think it would work just fine, though. Okay, there we go. I'm going to fast forward the rest, but that's essentially how you do it. And I will be back in 20 minutes with a result for you guys. We are back. I'm just going to go over the prices of a couple things here. Ice crystals aren't worth basically anything. Uh, ice clusters will probably be worth more when new recipes come out, but right now they're not very much either. Uh, we'll check out the Regal Silver Sade, although I'm pretty sure they're basically zero gill. Yep. We will check out the dragonfish? Dragonfly? Little dragonfish. Those are useless too. So all that's really uh, we're going for here are the Dustlight Aether Sand. 
And right now, um, they're going for about 20k a piece, I would say, 15 to 20k. And I feel like they're going to go uh, up a decent more when Extreme and everything comes out. And new recipes come out as well. So we'll go through the decent here. Uh, I actually didn't do as well as I did the last 20 minutes I tried. Because I did try one off stream or off YouTube first just to see if it was good enough to show you guys. And it was. So uh, we'll go through here. And remember, if you've never done aether ethereal reductions before, it is pure RNG. You can go through like 20 items and get no sand. Or you can go through 20 items and get 100. I don't know how or why it works that way. Um... And you can get 1 to 4, basically, too. So it's really, really, really RNG. I don't know if you can get it from a 4 out of 8. And that's what I mean by... Uh, by I feel like I got a little bit worse luck. Because I got so many lower quality ones that... Um, that I feel like a lot of these are just going to be duds. So you also get HQ ones too, which is nice, but that's nothing, nothing different with uh, Aether Sands. So three out of eight, I'm sure I'm just gonna get. Yeah, same with one out of eight, of course. I think the limit's five out of eight, where you stop getting anything lower than five out of eight, you'll stop getting sand. So by that. Uh, means I also did not miss a single swing or a single fish the whole time so my guess is you want to gear for perception for this uh, just because the higher HQ rate the the higher collectability you get Let's see if I get it from four out of eight here uh, nothing from four out of eight The difference between 1 and 4 is just so big, I hate how they do that. I wish they just all gave 2 or something like that. Being able to give 1 and 4 from the same eth ethereal reduction rate is really sad. Also just as a side note, I had people call out my gill because I'm dropping instead of gaining. I just wanted people to know that um, everything's in my retainers, I don't know how much gill I have right now. Uh, I'll take it all out in a couple weeks, and hopefully I'm above Gil Cat, but we'll see. So we got a ton. We got 30, 45 of them, and at about, let's say, 17,000 each, which is probably lower than they should be. Oops. How many did I say? <laughs> so we got a ton. We got 30, 45 of them. So let's do 45 times, let's say, 17,000, even though I feel like they'll be 20-ish at least. So 765,000 worth of Aether Sand, and I believe they will go up, I may be wrong. We also got 403 clusters and 909 uh, crystals, and the clusters, let's say, like, 300 each. So you can add another 120k or so uh, from the clusters as well. So overall, I think that was really fantastic for 20 minutes, especially since we're going to be needing so many for these infusions here. Uh, everybody will need these, assuming you're raiding and you use potions. So these are fantastic. They're the new consumable. As far as I know, they're the best ones you can get now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. This was Mango7Roll. I appreciate all the likes, comments, subscribes, especially if you enjoyed the video and it helped you out. If it didn't help you out, let me know why. Give me a dislike and uh, go from there. Uh, there's also Discord below that's been really helpful for not only me, but for everybody else. Um, I've had a lot of information given to me that way, and I really appreciate it. And this video is thanks to the Discord as well. Uh, so again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.